saving even one minute per day can lead to a huge improvement in your daily productivity. It's approximately six hours of saved time per year. Sounds interesting? Then this video is made for you. Shortcuts is one of my favorite apps. I use it every day on my iPhone and Apple Watch. It helps me to save time, the most precious resource I have. The Shortcuts app allows users to combine several actions into one shortcut. Instead of manually executing actions, you can create your own predefined scenario, your shortcut, that will follow your instructions based on your needs. In this video, I will show you the best shortcuts that you can use on Mac to boost your productivity and save time. Shortcuts are very useful not only on iOS but also on macOS. As always, download links for all shortcuts you will see in this video will be available in the description so you can download and use them completely for free on your own Mac. Enjoy! But before starting the actual video, I just want to make sure you hit that subscribe button and activate notifications for all my future videos. I would really appreciate your support. So, you can add shortcuts on Mac in three ways. Using Shortcuts app, using Menu Bar or by launching them from the dock. In my opinion, the menu bar is the most effective way to run shortcuts on Mac. Right-click on the shortcut you want to add to the menu bar and click Edit. Go to Information tab. Check the Pin in Menu Bar option. By the way, you can move icons in the menu bar by pressing and holding the common button. If you want to add the shortcut to the dock, right-click on it and choose Add to the dock. Your shortcut will instantly appear in your dock like any other standard app and you will be able to run it in one click. Tile last two windows. Manually tiling the last two windows on your Mac is a quite time-consuming task if you multiply 5 seconds per amount of open windows in a given day. Instead, you can use a shortcut called Tile last two windows. It does exactly what its name says. It's gonna instantly tile the last two open windows to use the entire screen of your Mac. Number two, quit all apps. If you want to quickly quit all running apps on your Mac, you no longer need to quit all of them separately. Just run quit all apps shortcut and your Mac will instantly close all running apps in a fraction of a second. However, if you want to use a keyboard shortcut, you can do that too. Just hit Command Q and it will quit the currently open app. If you want to close all of them at once, just use my shortcut. Kinda handy feature. Number 3. Disk Ejector. If you are using external drives with your Mac, especially several external drives, ejecting them one by one takes some time and it's pretty annoying. Just run my Disk Ejector shortcut and your Mac will instantly eject all external drives. After that, you will receive a notification informing you that you can now safely disconnect your external drives. If you want to adjust what type of drives should be ejected, right-click on the shortcut and click Edit. Click on the drive name and select your drive. You can add or remove as many drives as you want. Just search in the Action tab Eject Disk and add it to your shortcut. Number 4. Password Generator Using a strong password is essential if you want to keep your personal data safe. I hope you are not using the same password on each and every website. If you do so, you should immediately change your passwords. If you don't know how to create a strong password, don't worry, you can use my password generator shortcut. The password generator shortcut is a very well designed advanced encryption tool that will allow you to create strong passwords or even the strongest FBI level secure password that contains 45 characters. While running the shortcut, you will see several options from the drop down menu. Continue with the default 20 character password, limit characters to 18, delete special symbols and characters, limit characters, or create a 45 character ultra strong password. Make your choice. Next, your password will be automatically copied to your clipboard and you will be able to paste it in any website of your choice. For safety reasons, after 5 minutes, this password will be automatically deleted from the clipboard, so make sure to save it in a safe place. Sometimes we are just too lazy and use the same password on every website, but this is a very bad strategy. The password generator shortcut will save you a ton of energy. Simply run my shortcut and your strong password will be created automatically. Talking about passwords, number 5. 
Open Passwords Keychain. Almost everyone uses Apple's Password Keychain on macOS. Sometimes you need to check your password for a specific website. Instead of manually going into settings and then looking for the password section, you can run the shortcut called Open Passwords Keychain. With just one click you can access all your passwords saved on your Mac. Pretty handy feature. Number 6. Start Pomodoro. Today we are constantly distracted by useless notifications, emails and other pop-ups, not only on our phones, but also on computers. Concentrating on one task for at least 30 minutes might be a huge challenge for some people, like me for example. For this purpose, there is a Pomodoro shortcut. The Pomodoro technique is a time management method based on 25 minute stretches of focused work broken by 5 minute breaks. Longer breaks, typically 15 to 30 minutes, are taken after four consecutive work intervals. When you will learn this shortcut, first it will ask you for how much time you would like to stay concentrated. The shortcut will set a timer for the amount of time you want and it will set all your devices in do not disturb mode for this period of time, so you will be able to stay concentrated. If you never tried the Pomodoro technique for staying productive, try it out, it might help you. Number 7. Translator Bot AI If you are often reading articles in foreign languages on your Mac, this shortcut is made for you. Translator Bot AI is a powerful tool that automatically identifies the input language. You can even choose whether you want to translate text from your clipboard or write down your own text or word. Then the shortcut prompt window will ask you into which language you would like to translate your text. Next, the shortcut will provide you with the translation result and automatically copy it to the clipboard, so you will be able to instantly paste the translation result into any app of your choice. If you have your favorite language to translate to, for example English or German, I mean your native language, you can adjust the shortcut and it will no longer be asking you every time into which language you would like to translate your text. Right click on the shortcut, choose Edit, click on To. Clear the variable and select your own language. Do the same for the clipboard part. After doing that, the translation will work even faster. It will automatically identify the input language and translate it into your native language. Number 8. Google Translate The previous shortcut I showed you uses Apple's own translation app as a translator engine. If you are not satisfied with the translation quality or your language is not supported, you can of course use the most common translation service Google Translate. When you will run the shortcut for the first time, it will ask you to add your favorite language. This will be used as your default languages. It works like the previous shortcut. You can choose text from the clipboard or manually type your text. The translation result will show up immediately and will be copied to your clipboard. From here, you can simply read the translation or paste it into any app of your choice. Number 9. RSS feed Modern web browsing is a nightmare because of the amount of unnecessary information and ads. Unfortunately, social media and advanced algorithms are choosing content for you, letting you do no more than just swipe with your finger with almost no choice of the content. The old school RSS feed is a much better alternative. Select your favorite sources, choose your favorite article and enjoy reading only the essential things. Additionally, you can use the reader option in Safari to not get distracted by website animation and ads. If you want to add your own resources, you can do so. Simply right click on the shortcut and choose edit. Edit, choose from menu items and name it as your own RSS resource. Go down and replace RSS link with your own RSS source. And voila, now you are ready to read your RSS sources on your Mac. Number 10. Weather Report the weather app on macOS is nice, but it's not very informative. It's cluttered with too many elements and graphics. If you want to quickly get a really detailed weather report, you can use my weather report shortcut. When you will run this shortcut, it will get your current location and show you very detailed information about the current weather conditions, like current temperature, temperature levels, wind speed, precipitation chance, precipitation amount, humidity level, UV index, pressure, air quality and even air pollutants. I like this shortcut because it gives me a quick overview of the current weather conditions when I'm going outside. With just one click, I can see all the relevant information and adjust my clothes to the current weather. 
guys that's all for today if you like this video and you like shortcuts check out my other videos on that topic i made a whole series of videos about the shortcuts app for iphone and even a full tutorial to teach you how to make your own shortcuts the link will be provided in the description thanks again for watching and see you next time bye bye hello i'm samantha your personal virtual ai assistant i'm here to help you make a right decision yes or no Please write down your request, and I will give you the answer, although still use your human brain before acting on that decision. Good luck! Do aliens exist? Okay, let's run some numbers about your request. Do aliens exist? I studied your request, do aliens exist? And the answer is no. Okay.